You know, a lot of people get aggravated with me because I am I am very hard on on uh, myself and other lifters because I don't I don't believe in bullshit, and uh, I think a lot of that has to do with the the career that I've had, the people that I've actually befriended, that were some of the greatest powerlifters in history. In 1991, February, I befriended Vladimir Mironov. He was the greatest of all Russian powerlifters. And I had uh, attended Jeff Baird's meetup in Des Moines, Iowa, and it just so happened that Vladimir was there. So uh, the following month, Brad Stevenson uh, invited him to his Central USA Power Classic here in Galesburg, Illinois. So uh, I got to lift with him again. And, uh, you know, you learn a lot. You learn a lot from somebody that's been an Olympic lifter, that is the greatest in their country in powerlifting, and you you watch them lift and you learn things. Now, one of the things that was intriguing was that uh, I saw him pull an 835 deadlift. Now, he's not wearing a suit. We all had suits. He did not have a suit. These guys were poor. He was so poor, he wore spandex and a t-shirt. I remember Brad Stevenson gave him a couple bottles of amino acid talents. They didn't even have supplements over there. But no, he would actually grab, say if my finger was the bar, he would grab the bar with an Olympic lifter's grip, which the thumb would wrap around the bar and then his fingers around his thumb. And I've tried that with 135 pounds, it's painful. But he was raised from a child to lift like that. And, uh, you know, both hands were, were pronated. Not a reverse grip where you've got a supinated and a pronated hand to control that bar. It's very hard to hang on to. So this guy was powerful. And so I'm going to put some pictures up here. And uh, I will narrate these pictures and let you know where they were taken and what he was lifting. And, and just, just marvel at this guy. This is Vladimir in Des Moines, Iowa. He lifted in the 275 pound weight class. In the bench press he opened at 570, completed a 605, but then failed at 625. His personal best in Russia was 640 pounds. Vladimir opened up at 790 pounds on his deadlift, but for some reason he lost the bar and tore his hands badly. After having wiped the blood off his hands, he called for the same weight again on a second attempt and pulled it easily. His third attempt at 835 was also easy. Vladimir's best deadlift in Russia was 880 pounds. Here we see from left to right Jim Herman of Gloucester, Illinois, Vladimir Mironov, and myself in March 1991 in Galesburg. At this competition, Vladimir lifted in the squat, 770 pounds, in the bench press, 570 pounds, and in the deadlift, 770 pounds, for a 2,110 total. Now, Vladimir was 31 years old when these pictures were taken, and he was from Omsk. And if you don't know where Omsk is, I can tell you, it's in Siberia. And he said that all he had to train on were meat, eggs, bread, and milk, if he could find them in the stores. They had no supplements. So it was very, very hard for him to train. And uh, I think he got 300 rubles a month uh, from the government. And that was not enough uh, for the family to survive. He had a wife and a 13-year-old daughter. So they had to uh, rely on some other uh, means of, uh, of, uh, of making money too. I think he sold wood products on the side and he arranged some cultural tours and got paid for that. So it was a hard life. On February 10th, 1997, Vladimir was killed in a car accident. He was only 37 years old. <laughs>